Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. This is Antosh. Uh, we are back with the September updates. Uh, in this particular video, we are going to walk you through what are the courses that we are going to launch. And I'm also going to tell you like who will be the right fit for that particular course. So this will be a right opportunity for you to choose the right course. Now to get started with, you can always log in with datavision.com. And once you log in, you will have two uh, options here one is a sign sign up option and one is a login option so if you are a first time user if you are logging into a website for the first time you can always go and give sign up and once you sign up it will ask you your email id password and phone number so just please get registered it's a very much a free registration and if you have already logged in um, you can always go and log in back to our website so here i'm just logging in so once you log in, you'll be taken to a main dashboard here. You can always go to the explore course and in the explore course, you can choose the upcoming sessions in the upcoming session. You can see there are six posters that you can see and all the six uh, courses that we are going to start uh, this month to start with. Um, let's talk about uh, Power BI. So Power BI, we're going to start on 30th September, which is going to be a morning eight o'clock batch, uh, which will be taken by Mr. Ritesh. Now, what exactly we teach here is um, this is a data analytics role where you can apply as a Power BI developer or you can go with the data analytics. Now here, what we are going to cover is we are going to cover SQL, Power BI and Azure ADF. Spe specifically, we are going to cover ADF and followed by we are going to cover something called Fabric. Now, uh, you would have not heard about Fabric. Fabric is the latest update that Microsoft has come up last year. And not only with the Power BI, we are also going to enhance your skills in building a project in Fabric as well. Now, since it's a very new tool, you will have a very good hats on experience and you can showcase yourself as you're updated to the market. Now, this Power BI, uh, we usually recommend for the people who are coming uh, from a two, three years background who have worked in a different technologies. So specifically, we are recommending this people who are coming from non IT. So people who are working in non IT can easily dwell with this technology because it comes with a low code or I would say that you have to learn just DAX functions and SQL rest of the things are going to be drag and drop. So this is a very good opportunity if you want to get into IT you can choose this as a, a starting career because this is something which you have less um, work pressure I would say you just need to convert the raw data into insights. As we know that Power BI is a, one of the business intelligence tool which just converts a raw data into insights. So this is the right opportunity for the people who are, want to get into IT and those who are between like one to four years experience can learn and people who are already experienced like five, six, seven, eight, you can also opt for it. There's still an opportunity, but mainly you will be involved not as a complete report developer, but you'll also be leading a team. So this tool will be definitely helpful irrespective of what experience you are. Every company is using Power BI for the internal use case as well. So this could be a very good opportunity. And as mentioned, this is going to start on 30th September and it will be morning 8 o'clock. Now followed by we have a data science. Now data science, everyone talks about data science, but here what we are going to cover data science with Gen AI. Now if you see this batch starts at 7 o'clock and it is going to start uh, 12 September just after your festival. So if you talk about data science, we are going to learn SQL. We are going to learn statistics. We are going to learn Python and machine learning and deep learning. Now you're just not going to stop there. You already are aware of what your chat GPT is doing, what your Gemini is doing. So similarly, we are also going to build a chat uh, chatbot and using the chat GPT algorithms. Well, uh, this is basically a very advanced uh, technology that we see here. Right, you see a lot of AI tools that is in the market. So all this is built by Gen AI, generative AI, which you're going to learn. And this will be taken by Mr. Koti. And this will be like an evening batch, seven o'clock, and it will be from 12 September. Now, people who are very much interested to understand how ChatGPT works, how Gemini works, how AI um, tools works, this is a very good opportunity for you to learn. And apart from that, if you want a career where you want to start with the data driven technologies, you can opt for it. So usually freshers, you can go for it because uh, this is something will will have all the experienced people will be needed. So whether you're experienced or you're a fresher, this could be a right opportunity for you to learn. So then followed by for all this Power BI or a data analytics or this uh, data science, the base 
or the foundation is nothing but data engineering. Now, what this data engineers will do is we already know that uh, in this world, the data is scattered across different systems. So obviously you cannot do the analysis or you cannot build a Gen AI model directly. You need to make sure that the first data is cleaned. So as a data engineer here, what you will do is you will be involved in the data cleaning, data transformations, data modeling. You are making others work easier, right? If you if you are like providing a right data, the work for data scientist also will be easier. The, the work for data analyst also will be easier. So this could be a very good opportunity if you want to get a very high package because this is a foundation. And I would say that a lot of company needs data engineers, but we don't have, right? That's what is a supply and demand. So this is the right opportunity. Here you, can, you will be again learning SQL, Python, but here you're focusing on Azure and Big Data and Spark. Now, mainly Azure uh, data engineering. Data engineering can be built in any of the cloud services, but in this particular course, we are going to build with Azure. So this is usually preferred, uh, preferred people who really need to get into a very high package and want to stabilize your career for the next five, six years, you can go for it. But as and then said, this comes with a bit of difficulty, but really the worth the subject. You learn, you get into a good package, and you can see a lot of changes with respect to as the career moves on. And coming to the next three, uh, the one which is usually preferred for the people who don't want ever to learn coding, right? So uh, there are a lot of roles in the IT, but you can choose what is your preference. Like for example, there could be a people who really come from a coding background. There could be a people who never have heard about coding. So for them, I think Power Platform will be the right opportunity for you if you are looking for a non-coding technologies. So here, Microsoft, again, it's a Microsoft products. So Microsoft has come up with four, a total of five products. To start with, they have launched with Power BI for reporting. And if you want to build any mobile application, you can go with the Power Apps. And if you want to automate certain things, you can always go with the Power Automate. And in fact, if you want to build a website, yes, it is still possible with the help of power pages and you also want to build a chatbot you can have a power virtual agent now all these five tools it comes with a, a codeless or i would say limited code anyone anyone can go and implement your websites apps if you learn this power platform and all of our ksr courses it's it's it comes around four and a half to five months um we don't prefer in shortcuts we don't prefer in like crash courses we always believe in learning end-to-end -end because uh, we just want you to get settled and we don't want to come back to us saying that I was not able to work. So for that particular reason, every course has been organized to four and a half months, making sure that you get settled in IT and no one should ever think that you have learned. So that's the quality and the experience that you're going to get it from here. So this will be taken by Indrajit. So this will be again an evening batch 730 and which will start from 18th September. Now, this are all data driven. Now coming back to one of the evergreen technology, I would say it's Java. So a lot of technologies, a lot of things is happening in the market, but still one evergreen, I would still consider it and I need to accept the fact that it's Java. So what is happening Java? With Java, you can do anything. So people say that nothing is impossible. Yes, nothing is impossible with Java. You can use it for scripting. You can use it for uh, developing code you can enter you can build an enter, enterprise web application you can even build a mobile application right you can do everything and this is usually preferred for the people who want to start a career with the coding interest right see end of the day your interest matters so if you are interested in coding and if you want to build some enterprise applications go for it so full stack java developer we are teaching core java we are also teaching the um, moderate level as well as the uh, complex in terms of structs hibernate as well as springs we are going to cover that so this will give you a good hands on experience here for four and a half months of course we will make you to work and in fact this is um, again i'm saying people who have interest in coding go for it and as i said it's always going to be evergreen now um, at last very excited to talk about this for the first time uh your our ksr is going to start with one power bi report challenge like we are going to uh, start a hackathon where you people can participate and you can apply and you can start submitting your solutions and in fact you will be rewarded now this is the idea behind bringing this is um everyone knows power bi or in the you, you are in the stage of learning right so 
where could where do we get the real time experience right that's the biggest question mark you may be asking us okay i'm learning from your your ksr team but what is the guarantee that i'll survive how can i go and figure out different different uh, domains for that particular reason we have started it and in fact the projects and challenges which you are doing as part of this ksr challenge you can definitely showcase in your resume and for the first time we are bringing this food and beverage industry so basically we you we order food from swiggy somato whatever we do right but we want to understand how the domain works we want to understand how the system works it's not always that you take an e-commerce where you go always go report with respect to sales and profit we need to understand the business so here we are going to uh, start the challenge and this is going to be a very useful opportunity for you to build a project and come up with the solution so this will definitely give you a hands on experience and for more details like how to register and how to participate how to send the solutions what will be the reward everything we are going to discuss in the upcoming video so overall these are the six things which we wanted to cover well as in then one or the other day you have to learn there is no other go there is no shortcut so the sooner you start better the career so i've walked you through all of your six courses that we're going to start if you have any more questions you can always go to the contact us and reach out to us and our team will be there to always support you give the mentor guidance and help you to choose the right course so this is a uh, one thing which i wanted to cover as part of the september updates with that we'll meet in the next video thank you so much